Lord Farquaad has arisen for the day. Sometimes I think that I should start these vlogs after I get ready for the day because for all the new viewers that click on this video and see me like this, I guess it's not that bad today. This isn't how I present myself to the world, only to my camera when I'm in bed, getting ready to post on the internet. My fiance, or fiance, is out of town for the week. Usually we don't sleep with the dogs, but I need protection from all the ghosts and ghouls. I've been having them in bed every single night and it has been wonderful. Given that they have their own space and they're not on top of me and making me contort my legs into a shape that's gonna cramp my legs and give me blood clots. Of course, we have to clean our bed sheets way more frequently because they're bringing a bunch of... I don't even want to think about all the things that they're bringing into this bed. I saw this TikTok that really resonated. It was saying that life is too short to not sleep with your dogs in your bed. You can always clean your laundry, which I was like, true. In dog years, one of their nights equates to four of my nights, five of my nights. Is that the math? Wait, how long do dogs live? Oh, how long do you guys live? They're smaller, so they live longer. Okay, bless. So, take those dogs in your bed. Sorry for the unflattering angle. We're just getting up for the day, okay? My $15 tripod from Walmart uh, just broke, so you're gonna be handheld today. Or is this an excuse to get a really nice camera? <laughs> Once again, probably a toxic financial mindset. But maybe, I don't know. Should we do it? It's kind of crazy, but. The camera quality would improve quite a bit, and actually, no. We'll see. Hello. I've been trying to replicate this burrito or taco from Taco Deli. It's so simple. It's like three ingredients, and every single time I make it, I try to add a creative flair, and it just comes out so much worse. Today, I'm gonna look up the recipe, I'm gonna follow the recipe, and I'm gonna make the recipe. This is what I'm trying to make. It's called the freaking vegan. It is so good. I don't drink much anymore, but when I did, whenever I was hungover, this was my cure. In the morning, you feel like absolute donkey poo. Donkey poo? This is a go-to so that you, you're honestly, you're not gonna feel better, but at least you won't be hungry. I now have 52 subscribers, which wouldn't all of you like to see some higher quality content? I'm sure you would. 20 views per video, so I think it's time to upgrade my setup. I think this is how they do it. You reach 20 views a video and you immediately need to get a DSLR, a little vlog camera. I already have this ring light. We're just like moving up in the world, but I don't know. It's expensive, but it's nice. Ooh, I tried it out in the store and it's just such a crisp. Video quality. I don't know. I honestly should not be spending that money. But I did save $200 yesterday because I went to Sunglass Hut and I didn't get the sunglasses that I thought I was gonna get. So technically I made $200 yesterday. I mean, I could have just as easily lost those sunglasses on the way home and I would have lost $200. So glass half full, I made $200. So now this camera's only $500, not $700, you know? This is how I budget. Let's try to make this freaking vegan burrito. I got this shirt from Goodwill. Look how cool it is. Sometimes when the weather's shitty, I like to dress for summer because it kind of tricks me into thinking that it's nicer outside than it actually is. Let me get this recipe and let's, let's get going. We're wasting daylight, okay? Okay, so I thought that this recipe was like three ingredients. I thought it was refried beans, black beans. Okay, a few more ingredients. What did I already say? Here we have 10, 10 ingredients. Soy sauce, what the hell? Wow. Okay, um, I probably won't tell you what's happening just cause I'm sure you don't give a sh flying fook, but I'm gonna make it, excuse me, part of my reach. I'm just gonna. So no wonder my recipe turned out like ass 
this is so much more involved than I was expecting. And here, little old me being like, I know how to make it. I see the ingredients. All right, I will tell you how to make it because this shit is so good and you should do yourself a favor and also make it. Right now we're adding black, well, okay. These are the ingredients we have to add to a blender, blend it up. It's gonna make this like bean slurry. That sounds absolutely disgusting. In a blender you add black beans, salt, pepper, soy sauce, a little weird, vinegar, onions, and garlic. Ooh, it's a little stinky. Not in a horrible way, just like a, like a canned bean way. I promise this is not me trying to be a pick me, but I think I do have one of the most sensitive noses on the planet because any little odor, no matter how small, is like poof. What I take away from that is that if I'm ever a talk show host, I will learn from Ellen DeGeneres' mistakes and I won't comment on employees scents because apparently she would kick people out of her office if they smelled. Apparently she also had a bowl of mints in her office and you had to eat a mint before you went in. I don't know. I don't know Ellen DeGeneres. This is all things that I read on the interwebs and I believe apparently and then tell you. And so now you can tell other people and this is how rumors start. Sorry, Ellen. I'm sure you're a wonderful lady. Okay, why are my eyes so red? <laughs> I was gonna record a Nils from the Future thing and I look like I haven't slept in 10 days. Um, all right, I might have to take a break from editing, but what I wanted to say was, what the fuck is wrong with my eyes? Okay, hold up, I'm taking a break. If this turns out the way that it tastes from the real deal, you bet your ass I'm making this for guests and pretending like it's my own recipe, because isn't that how everyone does it? Like, aren't your grandmother's recipes just things she looked up in a Betty Crocker cookbook years ago, and now she pretends that they're her homemade recipes made with love? Isn't that how it works? Like, I don't think she just came up with it. I don't think she's like, hmm, maybe three eggs, not two. I'm gonna do the same exact thing. These are Nils's freaking vegan burritos now. Half a teaspoon of salt? I don't, uh, I don't want to measure it. Unpopular opinion, I love when it's just like a dash of salt, a pinch of pepper, because I don't want to be putting it into these little things. I like to, oh, okay. I'm glad I put it into this thing because I would have put way more than this in there. I've said this once before, I forget where, but I'll say it again. This is the most frustrating thing to do when you have to grind this pepper into this little thing. Having a garbage disposal is absolutely OP. Another thing I didn't grow up with. I'm gonna do these dishes, I promise. I've been saying that for two days. I've been busy, okay? I've been busy. I've been busy. People get busy. Working professional here, all right? Just trying to make a living, just trying to do my adult responsibilities. Sometimes there's not time for dishes, okay? Stop. What was I saying? Oh, garbage disposal. So amazing to just scoop everything in there and just shove it down, turn it on, you don't have to think about it twice. Cause like previously you have to, uh, uh, you have to take the little drainage out and it's full of like, many, oh, gross, okay, you know, vile. That was my least favorite task in the world. And now you just like, boom, shove it all down there, turn on some water. Seems like you could put anything down there. If you did want to get rid of some old birthday cards, you could probably shove those down there. Forget a shredder. You don't need to shred your important documents. Just put them in the garbage disposal. Credit card information, tax returns, anything with your social security on there, just you probably clog your garbage disposal. Okay, soy sauce. I don't know about this ingredient, but we're gonna go with it. The tough part about this is it says optional, which like, I don't know what it's gonna taste like with or without it. So either tell me to add it or don't because I can't really make that assumption. Maybe I can, let me smell it. I don't think I want that in there. In the morning? No. Not happening. All right, skipping that. Vinegar. Honestly, this is disgusting, but I could glug vinegar. I just, there's something, I, my mouth loves to be singed. My stomach loves to be gurgling and giving me acid reflux because I've eaten way too much balsamic vinegar with my salads. That's my brand. I thought I was really doing my part by eliminating paper towels from our life and utilizing reusable paper towels instead. But literally, first of all, 
what's a paper towel to the planet? Disclaimer, now we have some because when guests come over, I am uh, a little embarrassed to explain that no, you cannot wipe that up with a paper towel because we don't have any in this household. Here's a raggedy old cloth that you can put into the washing machine afterwards. It's just, it's, it's an interaction I don't want to have anymore, and so now we have both, which is so much worse for the environment because I'm sure that the carbon footprint on these orange raggedy ands is far higher than these. So now we're double troubling in this household. Oh, this recipe calls for, it's like a fuck ton of beans and then a very little amount of every single other ingredient. Wait, let me make sure I put the right amount of beans in here. I did, so it is. It's a ton of beans and then like a pinch of salt and a little boop of something else, but then like beans. All right, onion, please be powder. Chopped onions. Ugh. In the morning too, I'm not trying to be crying my eyes out. Okay, lit, I ran out of onions, so I do have to use onion powder. Okay, but now how do I decide what a quarter cup of chopped onions translates to in this little refined powder? Okay, this is where, this is where you do a dash. I feel like it's a lot of onions though, like that's one of the flavors that I feel comes through, you know? I'm gonna add... That could totally be far too much, or far too little. See? You never know. Glass half full, glass half empty. Or glass just half, in this case. Whenever I grow my hair out, one sec. Whenever I start growing my hair out, when I'm taking a shower or washing my hair, I notice way more hair is falling out. I know it's just because of the length of my hair, or so I hope, but it always makes me feel like, hmm, this is it, 24, balding at 24, this is where it begins. Hairline is just, so hoping that's not the case right now because I felt a little hair tickle my Neck. Okay, I guess it's still attached to my head. All right, garlic, last ingredient. I don't know if I added enough of this shit. Maybe I'll add a little more, just to be safe, you know? What's the worst thing that can happen with a bunch of onion powder? Fuck, I actually have to see people in person today in two hours, so bad breath alert. All right, I'll give them a warning. Sometimes I worry that I'm far too candid in my professional life, but when I'm talking with people, I just like can't help but share everything about my life. And sometimes those things are things that uh, others probably wouldn't be sharing back with me. My boss is also the coolest person ever, absolute G, and so are all my coworkers. So maybe it's okay. Maybe we're all just friends. We're not coworkers, we're friends. Actually, probably cut this out because I don't want to make assumptions if you don't feel the same way and you see this vlog in 10 years and you think, Never like that kid. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna blend her up. Blend up this bean concoction into a bean, bean slurry. To be quite frank, this looks vile. What? It literally says, add six tablespoons of pico de gallo. I don't have that on hand. How do I make that? My dogs are so weird. Obviously. Okay. They are so fucking weird. We have to separate them when they're eating, otherwise Pippa eats her food way faster and then goes over to Winnie and Winnie has anxiety and is also just a raging bitch. So we separate them so that they can eat their breakfast and meals in peace. But now Winnie's doing this thing where she won't eat hers. She's gonna wait until Pippa's done and then she'll cry in the other room until I let her out. But I open the door, she runs over to her food, pretends that she's eating and makes eye contact with Pippa to be like, Hey, look at me, I still have some. And it's all just to be like a bitch sister. So I have to stand in the door with the door open, have Pippa outside of the door, but let her see Winnie so that Winnie can see that Pippa sees her so that Pippa can get jealous and Winnie knows that Pippa's getting jealous and only then will Winnie start eating her food. And see the 12 people that are seeing this, if anyone knows how to resolve that, let me know down below. All right, let's finish up this burrito because I'm getting sick of cooking. Is this cooking? I just like blended stuff and put it together. Does that count as cooking? Also, why is every recipe site, why do I have to learn about the entire history of pico de gallo before you actually tell me to add tomato, onion, and whatever else? Don't need to know, don't care. Does anyone read that? Does anyone actually go, I'm gonna make some pico de gallo, but let me learn about the entire history before I do it, just so that I know. 
Honestly, if anyone does that, that is pretty awesome. That's like living the human experience to the fullest. Just educating yourself during your daily tasks. Maybe I'm jealous. Okay, this looks far more involved than I am down for, so I'm just gonna cut up some tomatoes, put lime on it, and put them in the burrito and call it a day. Wow, I just realized limes are so OP because they don't have the same amount of seeds or any seeds. Wait, what? Do limes not have seeds? I don't see a single seed in here. What? How do they reproduce? Wow, but I was just thinking, when you're squeezing a lime, you don't have all those lemon seed type things falling out into your thing that you have to scoop out with your fingers and then you put your nasty ass fingers, not that my fingers are nasty, and into your whatever to scoop them out. Why did that feel like a brain teaser? No, seedless. It's a little worrisome that I'm about to eat a pureed can of beans right before I have to leave to meet with some colleagues for the day. Because, well, you know, this is a lot of beans. I'm a little worried that I'm about to hate myself in about an hour and a half. Well, I'm drinking coffee, an hour. Fuck, I'm drinking coffee. Ay, ay, ay. It may look a little like dog food, but I'm having high hopes for this one. I learned in a previous video that I should not put the whole burrito into my mouth and instead I should take small dainty little bites because otherwise I look like this. And nobody needs that. It's good. It's a good interpretation of it. There are a few things I'm gonna change next time. All things considered, pretty good, hearty meal. I'm a little worried for the after effects of this, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, I'm literally heading out the door and I trip over this, a package, and it says, fresh flowers inside. My fiance. I do have to leave, but I do have to open this too. Get yourself a fiance that sends you flowers from Germany. Well, he's in Germany, these flowers aren't. Oh, my lantern. What is this? Holy shiitake mushroom. Are you flipping kidding me? John, I know you're gonna be watching this. I know I already will be sending you and calling you, but holy, what the flipping titting shit. Why am I not this thoughtful? Never once did it cross my mind like, hey, let me, let me order some flowers. Wow, okay, this is a good reason to be late to wherever I have to go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Bitch, what the hell? Just hoping you feel my love from across the world. Are you shitting me right now? This is one of the nicest things ever happening to me. They're literally, they're even securely in here. This is, this must have cost an arm and a leg. Shit, well, don't mind if I do. Dink. Definitely not feeling deserving of these. Well, why not? Where'd they come from? What the fuck? Product of Ecuador? What? How did these make it here? <laughs> Don't you wish your boyfriend and girlfriend was giving you flowers like mine? Don't you wish your boyfriend and girlfriend was giving you flowers like mine? Thumbnail. <laughs> It's not so bad to get some flowers every now and then. Okay, now I'm late as fuck, I gotta go.